Hi, I'm Dan Fox, one of the reporters from Nature here at COP26. Now, before the conference, we asked you what questions you would like to have answered by one of the many experts here in Glasgow. And a lot of you asked questions about carbon capture. Questions like this one. What are the most promising carbon capture technologies currently in development on their way to market? And how effective do you think these technologies will be in combating global climate change? Okay, so I think we need to speak to someone who has a really good overview of carbon capture. So I'm Stuart Hazeldean from the University of Edinburgh and I'm the world's first professor of carbon capture and storage. Well, there are all sorts of different ways of capturing carbon dioxide and that's one of the important things to realise is that our society is really still using huge quantities of hydrocarbon fuels, whether it's coal, oil or gas. And we use those in different ways, in industry, in heating, in transport and in electricity generation. And carbon capture and storage can apply across that range of opportunities and use different capture methods for different things. And even still developing now, carbon capture from the air will use again very different capture media. It could be chemical solvents of different types, it could be membranes, it could be adsorbing carbon dioxide into porous molecules, and it could be quite simple domestic compounds like potassium hydroxide can also capture CO2 and those different applications for different purposes can all be commercial and will all be and are all being developed right now. The key thing we've got to try and do is to make the energy of carbon capture less and less and less because that's a penalty in capturing carbon dioxide. Many of the existing solvents have to be heated to 120, 150 centigrade and that's a big energy penalty which needs decreased. So if we can design solvents which just need heated to 80 centigrade or 50 centigrade, that'll be a huge benefit. But already existing in other types of capture is chilled ammonia, is uh, potassium hydroxide, which work at very low temperatures with very low energy penalties. So it's not a simple question, so it's got a complicated answer. So hopefully that gives you some idea of where carbon capture technology is headed. Now we actually have a follow-up question about how safe it is. Should this technology prove to be viable, bearing in mind the vast quantities of carbon dioxide that would have to be stored, is this not tantamount to leaving our successors with an environmental problem similar to, but possibly many times worse than, than the tanks of nuclear waste currently stored at Sellafield? Yes, I'm Dr. Catherine Romanek from the University of Texas at Austin, Bureau of Economic Geology. First of all, as geologists, we know the right places to store CO2. We want to find a reservoir that is porous that will accept the CO2, and that needs to be overlain by layers that are non-porous so that it is trapped um, in the reservoir. There are additional methods that trap CO2, and those are um, residual trapping within the grains of the geological formation. The, the, the forces trap the CO2 there, and then over time, the CO2 will dissolve into the formation water and then mineralize. So we know that over time, the security of the site increases. In addition, we've been looking a lot at environmental impacts of CO2 storage. If it were to leak, what would happen? And we've been very concerned about the impacts onto groundwater. So we have taken many, many scientific approaches to trying to understand what the impacts would be to underground potable sources of drinking water. And so we, we know from the results of all those studies that um, if there's any impacts, they are localized and they are transient. We know that the main avenue of leakage would be through a well. So it would be like a plumbing problem. We just have to fix the plumbing problem. So we're feeling a lot better about the safety and permanence of storage because we put a lot of science to that. 